Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do chapter data handling. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this chapter. First, we will learn what is data. Then, we will understand pictograph and do its example. And after that, we will learn about pie chart and its example. A collection of facts such as numbers, words, measurements or observations is known as data. Data can be represented using pictograph and pie charts. So let's first understand what is pictograph. Data represented using pictures is known as pictograph. Let's take an example. This is a pictograph which is showing favorite food of students of a class using pictures. Here in this pictograph, smiley is used as a picture and each smiley stands for one student. Now let's do a question based on pictograph. Use this pictograph to answer the given questions. So here in this pictograph we are given number of houses sold from August to December. It is very important to look at what each picture stands for. Like here, each house stands for 500 houses. So to calculate the number of houses sold in each month, first we will count the number of pictures and multiply it with 500. For example, in the month of August, there are 4 pictures. So number of houses sold equals to 4 into 500 which is equals to 2000. Now let's solve questions based on this pictograph. Question 1 is, in which month housing board sold maximum number of houses? Students, as you can see, the month of September has 6 pictures. So it means maximum number of houses were sold in the month of September. Next question is, how many houses were sold in August? As I just told you, to calculate the number of houses sold in any month, we will count the pictures and multiply it with 500. So here, in month of August, Number of pictures are 4, so let's multiply 4 with 500 and we get the answer as 2000 houses. Let's see the next question. In which month minimum number of houses were sold? Now look at this pictograph. The month of November has only 2 pictures. So, Minimum number of houses were sold in the month of November. Next question is, how many houses were sold by the housing board in total? Here, to solve this question, let's count number of pictures for all the months. So, number of houses for all the months are 18 and we know each house stands for 500 houses. So let's multiply 18 by 500 and we get 9000 houses were sold by the housing board in total. Question 5 is in which two months housing board sold same number of houses? Look at this pictograph. Month of October and December have same count of pictures. So it means same number of houses were sold in both these months. So our answer is October and 
December. Now let's understand what is pie chart. Data represented by dividing circle into parts is known as a pie chart or a circle graph. For example, here in this pie chart, it shows number of children participated in different clubs in a school. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Now let's learn how to read this pie chart. Here, dance club is being represented by half of the circle. So it means half of the children participated in the dance club. Now, art club is being represented by one fourth of the circle. In the same way, music club is also being represented by one fourth of the circle. So it means one fourth of children participated in art club and one fourth of children participated in music club. Students, now you must have understood how to read a pie chart. So let's do few questions based on this pie chart. Question number one is, in which club do maximum number of students participate? As I told you, the dance club is being represented by half of the circle. So it means maximum number of students participated in dance club. Question number 2 is, which clubs have same number of students? In this pie chart, both art club as well as music club are representing one fourth of the circle each. So it means both art and music club have same number of students. Let's see the next question. If there are 200 students in the school, then find the number of students in each of the clubs. Let's first find the number of students for dance club. Dance club is being represented by half of the circle and number of students given is 200. So it means number of students in dance club equals to 1 by 2 of 200 which is equals to 100. Now let's find number of children participated in music club. Music club is being represented by one fourth of the circle and number of students given is 200. So it means number of students in music club equals to 1 by 4 of 200 which is equals to 50. In the same way, we will calculate number of children in art club, which is again equals to 1 by 4 of 200, which is equals to 50. Now let's do an exercise to make sure that you understand how to solve questions based on pie chart. This pie chart shows the favorite books of students of class 4. Question 1 is, what type of books do most students like? Look at this pie chart. Science fiction is representing half of the circle. So it means most of the students like science fiction. Question 2 is, what types of books do least number of students like? Both jokes and animal stories are represented by one eighth of the circle, which is least of all the parts of the circle. Therefore, jokes and animal stories are the type of books 
least number of students like let's see the next question what fraction of students like animal stories animal stories is represented by 1/8 of the circle so answer is 1 by 8 students like animal stories next is jokes again jokes is represented by 1/8 of the circle so again it means 1/8 of the students like jokes now third part is science fiction as you can see science fiction is being represented by half of the circle so it means half of the students like science fiction and the last one is fairy tales fairy tales is representing 1/4 of the circle so it implies 1/4 of the students like fairy tales now question number 4 is if there are 120 students in class 4 Find the number of students who like science fiction. Science fiction is representing half of the circle, and number of students given is 120. So it means number of students who like science fiction is half of 120, which is equals to 60. Similarly, let's find number of students who like fairy tales fairy tales is representing 1/4 of the circle and number of students given is 120 so it means we will do 1 by 4 of 120 which is equals to 30 let's do last question if there are 240 students in class 4 find the number of students who like animal stories animal stories is represented by 1/8 of the circle and number of students given is 240 so it means number of students who like animal stories equals to 1 by 8 of 240 which is equals to 30 in the same way we can calculate number of students who like jokes which is again equals to 1 by 8 of 240 and we get the answer as 30 so students this is how we solve questions based on pictograph and pie chart thanks for watching see you in the next video